Good afternoon, everyone from Los Angeles, and welcome to Stock Market Today. It's Alyssa Gorham and Justin Nielsen here. And Justin, we have a lot to talk about today, but first, why don't you go ahead and give us a quick rundown of the stocks we're going to be chatting about. Yeah, now that I have the stock straight in my own head, uh, we're going to start with Match.com, go into the trade desk, and finish it up with a little bit calmer of a stock with American Tower. All right, perfect. Well, first, let's take a look at the major indexes. This is a chart of the NASDAQ here, and we saw gains fade late in the session. It was looking like we were going to tack on another day of some strong gains with the NASDAQ intraday clearing that 9,500 level, but it looks like late in the day, uh, some China trade tension related headlines spooking investors a little bit. So what do you make of today's close? Yeah, so this is uh, potentially stalling action. You know, we, we really had a very strong gain in the NASDAQ. We were up 1.2% roughly, and then we just couldn't hold those gains. Now, yes, this was news related. Um, I really liked the an action earlier in the day. Uh, a nice follow-up to yesterday's upside reversal. Uh, so everything was looking good. This does put a little wrinkle in it. Um, maybe we hang out here under 9,500 for a little bit, there would actually be nothing wrong with that. Some sideways action here would give these moving averages a little bit of a chance to catch up and could be an overall good thing. Uh, you know, we're right in that gap area from way back in February. It's amazing that we've covered so much ground from being okay. down so much. And, um, you know, it's, it's very normal for it to be kind of diddling around here a little bit under that 9,500 area. And doing this for a week or so, Nothing wrong with that. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And you make a, such a good point about the moving averages catch up because if you think about it, if we would have closed today at the session highs, we would have gotten pretty far extended from that 10 day moving average. So, you know, the NASDAQ closing down about a half a percent for the day, still above that 10 day moving average. We'll have to see where we go from here, but this rally still very much intact and mm -hmm. a lot of leading growth stocks still looking pretty good after getting tested yesterday. Yeah, absolutely. And there was a lot of strength today. Um, you know, depending on what your style is, um, you could have been taking some profits and some names. And there were also a lot of opportunities to, you know, start positions. Um, what does make it a little rough is that a lot of those stocks that looked good earlier in the day uh, didn't look, look so great at their close. Mm -hmm. That's right. Well, let's check in on Match Group, ticker MTCH, uh, gaining over 3% for the day, trying to clear that 90 level, but definitely breaking out over a short consolidation that we've seen it kind of hanging in a in a range over the last couple of trading sessions. Yeah. And, you know, one of the things that might have kind of scared people off of this one is, you know, generally we try and stay away from bases that are over 40 percent that they're just more failure prone and this one had a base that was over 50 percent deep and so that's enough to scare anyone but when you start looking at the most recent action it's kind of made this a little bit of a better handle um and you know it's 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 above its 200 day the 50 day you know so everything is kind of looking a little bit better on this and sometimes that more recent action should get a heavier weight in your head. Now, I personally was like, you know, surprised as anyone to see Match, uh, you know, come back. I thought with all the coronavirus stuff, stay at home, people would not be interested in uh, the, the whole dating thing. But, you know, uh, some of the young kids, hey, you know what, they're still going out and doing, you know, doing stuff. There's a lot of people that are home bored. Hey, they want to meet other people. Uh, actually, Marie and I were talking about that before you jumped on today, Ali, as uh, in the pre-show. Uh, her roommate just joined. So there is a lot of interest still in uh, those products. And um, while this did get turned away at 90, uh, it still looks like a good setup and it did have a lot of strength uh, today. Yeah, exactly. I mean, look at that volume, uh, biggest volume in uh, on the upside in quite a little while there. So definitely one to keep an eye on. And pivoting to Trade Desk, uh, let's take a look at this. It had quite a wild session uh, yesterday. It right. wasn't looking all that great, but was able to rally back close above that 21 day exponential moving average and saw some nice support again at that level today. Yeah, so uh, that's that's kind of one of the lines in the sand to be watching that. And this is why a lot of times we're using closes below these moving averages as kind of our signal um, for your long-term uh, holdings, uh, things that you're holding on to 
for you know maybe a few months, you know a lot of times we use the 10 week moving average line and we wait until the end of the week to see where it closes. So do, do kind of look for where it closes at the end because a lot of times you will see that support come in. But right now, the area to watch here, uh, round numbers. You know, we were talking about 9,500 with the NASDAQ. 300 is the round, round number to watch on this one. Um, it's right at that level. If it can kind of cross above that, which would also correspond to kind of crossing this little downtrend in this handle here, um, that could make this uh, actionable. Now, this does tend to be a squirrely stock. It's, it's not for the faint of heart. Um, as you see, you know, there, that yesterday was, uh, you know, pretty dramatic. Uh, so this is one where, uh, you you might have to loosen your stops a little bit because it it does tend to move a lot and it's very easy to get shaken out. Yeah, a very good point there. And last but not least, checking in on American Tower. Ticker there is AMT tacking on another gain. So it's on quite a streak of gains in a row here. Another 2% today, nearing that round number of 260 for this stock. But uh, a question might be, is this coming too straight off the bottom here? Yeah, so I would like to see a pause here. That's a very good point, Allie. Um, and there was that rotation that was going on uh, as, as we were looking at, you know, what industries, you know, yesterday you and I took a look at KRE, the regional banks. Um, you know, it seems like some of that rotation might have shifted back in favor of the NASDAQ. Uh, we also were looking at S&P 400, the mid caps. That was not performing as well today. So um, real estate was another area where there was some of that rotation going into those names. So American Tower is a real estate investment trust, a REIT, and it's been seeing kind of this strong move, but usually you want to wait um, for, uh, you know, some type of pause there, you know, because when it, something comes up straight up from the bottom, um, it might blow through that cup, but it can also, you know, you're more subject to a pullback. So uh, that's, that's the one caution here. But on the other side, you know, when you do have these bases next to bases, so you see the pattern recognition of MarketSmith has identified this base uh, right here, but there's a base before it, and it isn't much, you know, extended past the base that was before that. So sometimes these longer areas of consolidation can kind of act as a spring tightening up, and when it does finally pop, uh, there can be a lot of power behind it. So that's, that's something to just keep in mind and watch with this one. Yeah, another good name uh, to put on your watch list. And we are definitely going over key watch list stocks every morning on IBD Live. That's our daily live stream where we are sharing our screens, going in depth on the current market action, analyzing top stocks to watch, and just really providing the insight and perspective that you need to not have those knee-jerk reactions yeah. that sometimes investors might get on a day like yesterday, especially. Yeah, just looking at the comments today uh, on IBD Live, a lot of people were very grateful that, uh, you know, we were all taking hits on our own portfolios. And so we were kind of sharing, look, you know, I, we're, we're holding through this, it doesn't feel comfortable, um, but we were able to kind of calm some people down. Um, one one person put it, put it best, one of our long-term uh, subscribers, he said, you know, I you stopped me from doing, from my intraday selling turning into panic selling. And uh, hopefully we can do that on the upside too, where we're helping you with those buys and, and getting you in at the right time. So we hope you join us tomorrow morning on IBD Live, but that's it for today from us. And we'll see you right back here tomorrow.